Mr. Rajan and his team who will do the self-introduction and take you through this amazing uh, um, journey of the works workshop, which you will be able to certify yourself at no cost. So over to you, Mr. Rajan. Hi guys, good evening everyone. Thanks for joining. I would also like to thank Mr. Sudanshu, Mr. Deepak Gag, Mr. Titi Jain, and other team members for facilitating the show, making you all available for a short span of time. In fact, we will have a short session on this particular program. And uh, the program, as you know, it's a certification for Grow with Google, which is certified by NESCOM. Life always says learning should go on, right? Learning is the only thing that you have in your asset, in your mind, rest all is the information, right? And learning makes you different altogether from each and every one of the competitors. So this particular certification is totally based on this concept only. You need go for that certification, stand apart from the industry, stand apart from the other students, stand apart from the other competitors, and have a gaining edge, gaining edge in front of all people, right? So this is primarily a 180 hours course duration program in three verticals, Python, data analytics, and social media management. The course tenure would be three months, but nevertheless, this is, this is there is no fixed timings for study. It's a very easy going course. Wherever you are feeling comfortable, I mean, when you feel comfortable, you just, just click your mobile, sort of your pocket, go online and do the needful, right? So very easy to go course, although it is free, but it is not free in the sense that you don't have to take it seriously. You have to take it seriously because the future is very much linked with these kind of learning programs. We would be providing around three sessions, live sessions to you guys, time to time, enabling you to address your question and answers, making more understanding of the concept or any kind of issues that you have regarding the course. Apart from that, you know, this is course, this is a kind of a course which will also entitle you for a dual certification program, which of course my trainers would be telling you in details. Last but not the least, we'll get, although, you know, Bennett is a big brand and we have a lot of, you know, big, big brands coming to your campus for recruiting you guys. So we'll be focusing something more extra for you guys in terms of good companies making those brands accessible to you, which are normally not coming to your campuses. We have tied up with various brands. We have our own corporate alliance team, a very versatile team, who has been, who has been doing this kind of activity day and night, tying up with the corporate people for getting the better jobs for you guys, number one. Then this course will definitely, definitely going to help you in your further studies also, right? Anybody who wants to go for further studies, this is going to help you. Anybody who wants to go for entrepreneurship development program, this is going to help you. Because the topics which are being covered in these courses are multi-phase topics. Means they are applicable everywhere. IT nowadays is everywhere, as if we can see. So once you are efficient, sufficient enough to handle these kind of activities, the things are very easy for you in coming time. Of any questions during the session, you may raise hands or you know, you may type in the chat. We'll be addressing that questions when we end the session. We'll be sharing a link also to you guys for registration enrollment. You just have to enroll and all the things would be told here by my trainer team over here, live to you. In case of any queries and questions, you're welcome to ask any kind of questions for that. In the last, I'll be telling you about the corporate alliance part the placement partner part, and we'll be giving you certain companies' names where we will be definitely trying to put you as an employee, right? So now I would like to, you know, ask my master trainer, Mr. Kunal Jha, to come on the uh, NS and just, just give the details about the course and everything. Thank you. Kunal, please. Hi, thank you, sir. Hi guys, just to reconfirm, I hope I'm audible to all of you once again, right? And if you'll check the chat of yours, so in the chat, uh, 
the link to enroll in this course is being given to you all, right? So I just request all of you to check whether the link is working or not. Just uh, click on the link and check whether you are able to open the form or not. And if anyone is not uh, able to open the form, let us know so that we can again give you another link. Right, I hope it is working, what I can see from chat. Okay, great, thank you, thank you. So if I talk about the courses, so right now uh, we are providing three courses out here, which is from Google side. The first course, which is of Google IT automation with Python, which is of 160 hours. The second course, which is available is Google data analytics, which is of 180 hours. And the third course, which is available is e-commerce with digital marketing, right? So basis of your interest, you can select any of these courses in whichever you want to get enrolled for, right? So like, suppose if you're having an interest towards data science, or if you're having towards an interest towards the digital marketing, you can pick and choose any one of the course if you wish. So you are not limited to selecting of one course only. If you wish, you can select more than one courses if you want to do it, right? But the only condition of selecting more than one course is that you need to enroll in every courses with different email IDs. Don't repeat the same email ID for getting enrolled in more than one courses. You know what happens? The, the certificate which is being released from Google, it, they release one certificate per email ID. So the latest course in which you have uh, uh, enrolled only for that only you'd be getting the certifications. So when you want to enroll for more than one courses, do create an email ID and make sure your name is properly written out there on email. Like when you're creating an email account. So while filling the form, do mention the name and surname uh, more appropriately because Google would be picking the name from there only and on that name only the certificate will be issued, right? The certificates are not issued on the Gmail ID. Like my Gmail ID is kunaljha107 at the rate gmail.com. So that is my Gmail username. So my certificate will not come in the name of kunaljha107. The certificate will come in the name of kunaljha. That was the name when which I mentioned when I was creating the account. Right? Yes, in special cat. Okay, fine. Don't worry about the form filling, guys. So we would be showing you a complete uh, uh, dry run of what all option you can fill it while you are filling the form. So don't worry about that. One by one, I'll be telling you or, or I'll be taking you all through the complete course of it. Right? I hope uh, things are clear till here to all of you. Right? So along with this course that we are offering, there would be three sessions, which or which we would be also uh, providing it to you. Those three sessions would be of doubt clearing sessions, right? The first session will be on 16th of this month, and the second and third will be duly announced uh, in the later days. So on 16th, you can come down with your doubts, whatever you have studied, or if you are having any doubts in even starting the course or anything, right? A proper link would be shared with you all on the registered email ID the link to join the session and also a link to share your problems or doubt, whatever you all are having while you have taken up the course. Fine. So that both will be taken care of. Just what you need to do is you need to keep checking the email of yours through which whichever you have registered. If anyone wants to uh, take a QR code, right? So you all can just take a snapshot of the screen right now. right? And even if you uh, scan the QR code, from the image that is if you have taken the snapshot that will also work right so this uh, course is not only limited to the students uh, this course would be we would be highly delighted and obliged if our respected faculty members can also show their interest towards these courses right so uh, it is free for them as well and we would love to have their also engagement towards completing these courses right so uh, now I'll be just showing you all what is a complete dry run. That is when you are filling the form, how the form opens in front of you all and what all op options come in front of you. So most probably when you have opened the form, or do you want the QR code? Okay, just a second guys. I'll just explain this entire thing and then I'll again switch the screen for the QR code, right? Just wait for a few minutes. 
हाँ अच्छा यू वॉन्ट टू ओपन इट ओके वेट देन Yes, guys. You all can take the screenshot of the QR code from here. Just let me know when this thing is done. Right? I hope you all have taken the screenshots, or you might have scanned the QR code even. Fine. Let's proceed. so when you scan the qr code or open the link which is shared with you on the chat the first option that might be coming in front of you is filling of your email so you can just write down the email id through which uh, you want to uh, you know uh, enroll on this course or you want to have the further communication with this second comes your first name your last name institute or college name right through uh, so if you are enrolling from whichever college you can write the name of your college right so that we can have a proper tracking of yours fine then the email id now this email id and the top email id can be same if you are having one email id only right sometimes what happen uh, a few uh, students do have two email ids one for just for communication and secondly they used to create in getting it enrolled or for any further activities on online so if you want to use two email ids you can but if you are having only one email id so both the places the email id can be same right and in case if anyone you have already taken a course from coursera earlier don't use that email id right so you need to register with a fresh email id which is not present with coursera else coursera won't be able to segregate you from identifying ki you are going through our link and you are enrolling for the free courses fine next is your 10 digit mobile number don't include any kind of plus 91 or zeros or anything earlier just give your 10 digit mobile number your aadhar card number is required as this course is uh, nsdc accredited and affiliated so it is like a uh, indian government uh, youth upliftment program which we are conducting so out there we need to give the unique identification number of every student those who have enrolled so we don't require any kind of print out or screenshots any or any kind of image of your identification proof we just require the 12 digit number of the aadhar card for your unique identification after that you can fill up your date of birth your gender now out of these three courses in whichever course you want to get enrolled you can pick so again i'm repeating once with one email id enroll in one course only if you want to pick any more than one course please use different email id you can have your father's name then your mother's name your marital status your current address the state or city where you are right now the pin code nationality being an indian your highest qualification that you are having right now in your current status like whether you are student or you are employed unemployed or whichever uh, uh, thing you are right now you can just select that thing special category so in special category you might find many options appearing like differentially able transgender widow single parent covid and stuff like that so if you don't fall under any one just simply select the last option which is return to work right again i am repeating if you are not falling under any of these categories please select return to work after this you just need to fill the annual income so we don't require the accurate figure it it can be a range or it can be a nearby figure just to show because uh, uh, the, the indian government also want to track how many people are there who are below the poverty line or what is the income status who are taking up these courses so we don't require exact numbers whatever you are taking up or what is the family income is even a range will work like what is the profession of the prime earner like if they are engineer medical doctor scientist or or in whichever profession they are working right now so you can just write the profession out here and what is your relationship with the prime earner 
and how many members are present in your family that you can specify out here and what's your main goal or objective after doing these courses like are you looking for a job further or you're looking for some higher educations right why we are asking these is because we do help students in supporting for the placements as well right till some extent so if any one of you is interested in making a career out in any of these fields so you can show an interest by selecting the job out here so that my backend team is aware that these many students are uh, you know interested for the job in these kind of areas so that accordingly we can support you in coming future and as these courses are being made by google so all the videos are in english so just a common consent that you are able to understand the videos which are present in english or not secondly you just need to let uh, confirm that on which device you would be taking and finally you can put this thing on to get the copy of the filled data that you have submitted right and don't forget to click the submit button at many times what happened we don't check whether the file is being submitted or not and we think that by clicking it it got submitted so sometimes it happens that due to network error or something the file is not submitted right for for that only this this option is given so if you don't receive a copy it means that you haven't your copy is being not submitted with us right do just validate that thing right any queries any questions as of now on whatever thing that i have uh, covered acha last date is 15th by which you can show your interest towards any of these courses right right so for any other technical questions also if you want to ask or any any further queries so i would like to uh, ask charu ma'am our expert in data science to just handle the stage <laughs> okay so why the new id is re registered because suppose if you have already registered with cora so cora is having your information already that who you are and from where you have registered so this coursera id that we have got it is a government initiative right where the indian government is giving this course for free under all those courses under all those centers those who are nsdc registered so as we are also nsdc partner so these links are exclusively given to us so if you are registering from the previous link so there would be an ambiguity that he would be picking up previous detail rather than the new uh, details that you are fetching in the form so that detail won't be captured so technically your course may not go free even after filling the form with the same email id which already coursera is having right so for that so in order to avoid that ambiguity uh, while you are filling the form so it is being suggested don't use the same email id which coursera is already having right i hope that uh, any more query team yeah 12 digit number it's just a 12 digit number that is being required and we just require the number no proof no validation of that aadhar card no no images no screenshots you need to upload anywhere is just for the unique identity of every student out here it's not only because this is these are norms from the government side so it's nothing that we would be personally keeping these details with us so this is something that we have to fulfill according to the government norm that we have received from nscc great so my backend team is uh, continuously available on chat so if there is any queries that can be addressed through chat so feel free to right out there so if there is anything that i need to address from the stage i would be pick, picking those questions and again i'm coming back to address those queries so meanwhile i would again like to call rajan sir to just give you a brief insight about the placement partners at the companies uh, that we are having right now sir thank you gunal it was a wonderful presentation by your end i hope everybody is clear on how to fill the form how to go about all the details in the form just in case you have trouble in future also we are supplying you with the number of our academic counselor in the chat box you ms shobha's number so you can contact ms shobha at any point of time 
in case of any confusion is there or regarding the form filling or the something of any sort, right? So now, as I was telling you that Kunal very rightly mentioned that we are giving free placement support to the participants or the students or faculty who are doing these courses. But on a lighter note, I will tell you that, you know, this placement support is only available to students, not to the faculty, right? Because I don't want to have any query from any faculty. He said, no, we also need a change. Sorry, this was students only, right? So I'm just, you know, reflecting some of the companies where we have been tied, tied up for the placement part. And one more thing, primarily our alliances for these companies for the job roles are only pertaining to the IT sector roles. Nothing on the marketing, nothing of the finance, nothing of the HR side. Only IT enabled courses, IT enabled roles that we are, you know, tied up with these companies. Where are the, some companies? You can very well note down the, all of the big brands that we have alliance, got alliance with. I'm sure many of these companies must have visited your campus also for recruitment, campus placement process. In fact, today only I got a message from Accenture that they're looking for IT guys. In fact, today only I got a message. There were around 55 vacancies to fulfill in Accenture. So these are some of the more companies. And let me also tell you one thing that our new jobs.ai has got our own advisory board members the corporate advisory board we have got. And I would definitely like to highlight a few names out of that. We have Mr. Ankit Jam from KPMG. Earlier he was KPMG. Now he's the chief learning officer of Grand Thompson. We have Mr. Manoj Virwani from Reliance Industries, who is our member. We have Mr. Manish Gupta, who is India Head and Managing Director for Accenture. He is one of my friends and a very advisory board member. Then we have Ms. Vilasha Gupta, she is the global head corporate affairs and public communication, Tech Mahindra, right? Mr. R.V. Verma, chairman of AU Small Finance Bank. So all these level of guys we have got with us as our advisory board members. And they are very, very, very helpful to us for gaining the corporate mileage, gaining the mileage for our placements and everything, right? So this is just a you know, representation of few of the companies that we have been tied up. We are definitely working for more and more, you know, in this particular spectacle to have more and more companies. Only and only you finish the course and you are eligible for the job. 70%, 80%, 50%, no. 100% completion requires to get a job, you require to do 100% course completion. Once I have got that hint from a team that, okay, fine, this guy has completed 100%, I'll entertain that guy. Otherwise, sorry, no placement. Things have to be taken seriously, course is free, but the labor, the hard work is not free. We have to do a lot of hard work for the, all these kind of things. Right? I think, uh, Charu Madam, please come and explain about that dual certification. I will invite Ms. Charu on the stage now. We have a concept of dual certification also with this course. So she would be in a better position to tell you all details about. Please. Hello everyone, a very good evening to all of you. I hope uh, we are not making you bore and just sitting uh, in front of your laptops or mobile. Just five, 10 minutes more and then you would be free for your evening. So as we know that these are the three courses that are offered under GWG, that is Grow with Google. As Sir said that you are eligible for placements Post you complete these courses, apart from placements, you are also eligible for our foundation courses. Those are worth 10,500 to 12,500. But if you complete these courses 100%, those courses are free of cost. I would just repeat, it would be free of cost. And again, the three domains would be data science, data analytics, and digital marketing. Those would be 20 hours course 
in which you would be getting the certificates from newjobs.ai and on cert on completion of these courses the you would get a certificate from google and on completion of those three foundation courses you would get a certificate of completion from newjobs.ai and those would again be cherry on the cake for your placements for your future for your higher studies or whatever you are thinking to grow to do in your near future and as we know the yeah and as we know the demand of the industry the demand of the technology is python data analytics so i would prefer that at least select one of these courses whether you are from any domain whether it's not necessary that you need to be from an engineering domain to do these courses even if you don't have a background in a technical field just try these courses maybe you would find something new that would trigger your you know interest in these courses and you would have a good future in these courses any doubt any you no know, any query regarding these courses yeah and we have given the academic counselor number you can just reach to her through whatsapp she would be available there to just help you with filling the forms or any query regarding the form once you submit the form within next 24 hours you would be getting a mail on your mail registered mail id so just make sure that every alpha numeric or the special characters have to be clearly mentioned in that within 24 hours you would get a mail from grow with google or coursera you just have to follow the steps to enroll yourself in the, those courses and the first session by us would be on 16th june you would get a intimation mail uh, prior to that event two three days so that we can help you with how to enroll with the courses or what you need to do to start with these courses just a basic overview of what would be inside the courses would be on 16th june so if you have any query you can just reach us by 15th june okay so these three courses the first course of it automation with python it is for 160 hours these are self paced courses that means there are um, prior recorded videos are already there on the course era platform you just need to go through them and do the assignments or the assessments provided on the website data analytics and digital marketing it is for 180 hours each so you can like nowadays you would be free from your exams you would be having your summer break you can just take two to three days two to three weeks daily and just watch these videos and the duration for the foundation course would be 20 hours and those would be the live sessions no recorded sessions for the foundation courses they would be the live sessions taken by our master trainer from us uh, center. Hmm. And like if you want to go for the foundation course, you can complete any one of these courses and you would be eligible for our foundation course. Like if you do just the data analytics, you would be eligible for our foundation courses. Hmm. Of same domain, obviously. So, <clears throat> so basically these are the benefits if you want to just you know narrow down placement assistance live doubt clearing sessions negligible or you can say just the waived program fees for the bennett student uh, bennett university students certification that means from google as well as from newjobs.ai and the 10,500 worth course is free, provided you complete 50% minimum of the courses that are offered under GWG, that is Grow with Google. Thank you very much, Anu. No, complete Kalega. She there's a query that the placements would be given to the people. Placements would be given to the people, those who fill form. No, it's not like that. You have to complete the courses to be eligible for getting the placement. Kali form fill karnese placement nahi milegi. 
मेहनत करने से कोर्स पूरा करने से प्लेसमेंट मिलेगी एज सिंपल एज दैट नहीं नहीं एवरी वन विल बी एलिजिबल फॉर अ जॉब राइट इफ प्रोवाइडेड यू कम्प्लीट द कोर्स फ्रॉम अवर साइड वी विल बी गिविंग अपॉर्चुनिटीज टू ईच एंड एवरी वन राइट हु इज फिलिंग द फॉर्म गेटिंग माई पॉइंट ऑन सो एवरी वन वुड बी एलिजिबल टू अपियर फॉर इंटरव्यूज गेट योर सोर्स थ्रू अस एवरी वन वुड बी एलिजिबल फॉर गेटिंग अ जॉब असिस्टेंस थ्रू अस एवरी वन वुड बी एलिजिबल टू गो टू द कंपनीज एंड यू नो रिप्रेजेंट दम सेल्स इफ यू सेंड दम बट at the same time second point is the course completion is must right form fill karo you complete the course then you have the job 50% other earlier told you 50% 60% or even 99% completion is not required any internships any internships as if no no internships only jobs because it's only a three months course basically any other question related to jobs jobs in google or so we got slides of the college from see i have already told you the slides various which various companies which we have been tied up so these are some of the companies where we will be recruiting you guys depending on your course completion right Yes, you have to be graduate, of course. We are basically tied up with Google only for the Tech Power initiative. Like this is the Tech Power initiative process that is going on, in which they want to see maximum people to be tech powered, basically. No, no, no. It's it's not free for Benedict University students. It's free for everyone. But yes, placement assistance is free for Benedict University students, of course. You can share with your friends. Let us know whom you have shared shared with. Then we can accordingly do the needful from our end. Because you know, placement is not you. You can apply to each and everybody. Only to selected people, the intellectual guys. And since you are from Benedict, I believe you have already passed that criteria. any more questions google is just providing a platform yeah yes, google is just providing a platform yes google is just providing this platform anything else See, the R card is primarily, as we told, that this is the government notification course. The information would be going to the government. So the R card just, you know, reflects your authenticity that you are an Indian. Nothing more information that required, because this you are not asked to upload any image, any kind of, you know, a R card. It's just a number that is required, just to check your authenticity as a national of an India. It's just a representation. Basically, our family income is just required as a formal representation or information kind of thing because there are certain people who are EWS and other sections also. They just want to have to get that kind of data with them also, right? So nothing. Let's see, all these are just uh, merely for information sake. There is no repercussion of filling these things. These are just for information sake. You can fill any number what you feel like. It's nothing to do with other thing, kind of things. Just an information, plain information. That's it. Uh, what is the difference between Coursera uh, courses and foundation? Now, madam, please address this question. Difference between Coursera and foundation. Foundation is from New Jersey. But the rest, she will be explaining you in detail. so if we go with gwg that is grow with google these are the already predefined courses that are offered by coursera but under gwg these are available to you free of cost 
if we talk about our foundation courses they they cover the basics of the data analytics python and uh, digital marketing they would be you would be having a hands on experience of some of the you no know, latest projects like if i talk about python you would be getting the access to image processing object detection green screen effect or you no know, driverless cars that you would be you know made familiar with uh, during that foundation course if we talk about digital marketing you would be you no know, familiarized with seo that is search engine optimization how to make your website more uh, you know available to the clients how to increase the number of users visitors so the difference between these courses and the foundation courses is that first of all they would be live secondly you would be uh, introduced to the projects this this is like theoretical that would be more of a project exposure to you any other question regarding the foundation course or the gwg courses for no these are the pre recorded sessions if you log in through your gmail you would be able to see all the recorded sessions it's up to you how much time you can just no take out on your daily basis for these courses but from our side the maximum duration that we are providing you is 3 months starting from 16th june the duration would be 6 uh, 3 months Okay, guys. I think we have uh, done for the session. Rest of the questions can be answered. Rest of the. I think. Okay, guys. We wind up the session now. I think rest of the questions will be answered by our academy counselor as and when you get the reply. Now, at the la at last, I would like to invite our chief operating officer, Mr. Ramesh Nair. to say a few words and highlight something brief about this course yes. very good evening to all of you a big thank you on behalf of newjobs.ai and uh, i on behalf of uh, my entire team especially rajan sir kunal ji charu ma'am and the entire back end team uh, wish you uh, a great learning experience in the days to come and just to give you a brief on what new jobs date dot ai is into so we are a skilling organization so we we are not a university okay. we we tend to Uh, you know associate ourselves with major uh, universities of the country and we've been very fortunate that uh, we've got an opportunity to get associated with uh, uh, bennett university and uh, we thought we'll we'll be in a position to offer certain things for all the students here so these courses though are free aur ek kahawat hai na kabhi kabhi hum sochte hain ki bhai ye free ki cheez hai to kar lo ye kar lo no free from our side is something called value so it may not be costing you anything but the freedom to choose the right course the freedom to time your course and the freedom to decide what exactly you want to do is according to us free ship so so it's you know getting discounts getting a scholarship or getting free ship also means that there are greater responsibilities for you so as students my only request is all of you should take this course very seriously and uh, bring it to its logical conclusion our team will keep helping you and you know keep hand holding you in terms of uh, you know first the registration process gets over and then you will have to log in to the coursera program so that's where you may have some challenges so uh, i would request you to be in touch with our team and we are going to help you out so for us it's skilling value addition helping you to have greater insight into all these areas and moreover the courses that we are trying to offer are i think now becoming talk of the town i was just going through one of the articles again which has come from times of india just about 2 3 days back it says the current cu set 
examination, there is a data released by the NTA and it says 45% of the students have, who have opted for many of the undergrad courses are opting for computer science, IT and IT related courses in the areas of artificial intelligence and data analytics. And then you have management and then you have mathematics. So you could see how these courses are now really, you know, fanning across. So it's a good way for all students who are already here. So it's, it's kind of a fill up to courses that you're already doing in Bennett. And I know Bennett is a big brand. So you, you would be giving, getting all sorts of exposure in terms of your courses. But we thought we'll also make a small contribution from our side. So you have these courses available, do it at your pace, but keep that pace, maintain that interest level and go on. And we are there to help you out. And as Rajan sir has already pointed out, placement assistance is definitely available, subject to completing the course and requirements by various corporates, you know, so you need to, if they say you need to be a graduate with 60%, 70%, you need to achieve all these things. So it's kind of a small support from our side. And I'm, we are very grateful to the officials of Bennett University, especially uh, um, our, uh, you know, gratefulness to, uh, our gratitude rather to uh, the, the Honorable Vice Chancellor, she's then the CEO of Mr. Sudhanshu Verma, uh, Dr. Deepak Garg, uh, Aditi ma'am, all people who have been involved in the uh, activities of outreach uh, and, uh, uh, you know, uh, placements, corporate resource center. So I think we are very, very grateful to all of them for having given us this opportunity. And we are looking forward to, uh, uh, you know, many more occasions. We are also looking forward to come personally and visit your campus and meet many of your students. We'll be very keen to do that. And uh, please, uh, come up with overwhelming response for the last uh, three four days i mean i would must like to share that uh, the the uh, the response from various universities with whom we have approached has been very good uh, tell this to your friends your peers your uh, your your within your various social groups that this is a good program amazing program please go ahead and uh, we'll definitely look forward to interacting more with all of you and especially thank you very much uh, uh, all uh, there at uh, Bennett University. Thank you. Uh, happy learning and enjoy your course. Thank you, sir. So I hope, guys, there is no further queries that you are having. So because it's almost time to wrap up the session. So if there is any query, please feel free to ask right now. And suppose in future you are having any queries and then you can just directly get back to the number which is already supplied on the chat of yours, right? To the Shobha ma'am. And we would prefer you all to first message to Shobha ma'am, right? And then if there is something urgent, then only it is preferred to call her, right? I hope there is no further queries. Team, is there any more queries to address? Right. So thank you once again to everyone. For, and again, to all the respected members for giving us the time and the stage to present ourselves. Thank you and hope to see all of you very soon on 16th. Fine, guys. Bye. Thank you, EPTIC team. Thank you so much for the entire session. It was a wonderful session. And I'm sure Bennett students will participate in bigger numbers. And since it's a great um, skilling platform, which will help in pre-certifications and help them upgrade and you know, bring limelight to their CV as well. So we look forward to collaborating with you. Thank you so much for all the forms. And students, in case there is any issue, please feel free to contact Pritha or our, um, our international team, or these, this team has also shared their email IDs. You can do right away. So thank you so, thank much, you so much, everyone, for joining in. Thank you, thank you so much. Mr. Rajan, thank you. Thank you once again. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, guys. Bye-bye.
मम्मा मोटर चला के आ जाओ हाँ हाँ मैं भूल गई मैं भूल गई 